It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Pain Capital Management, along with Chief Investment Officer, my father, the man with the plan, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this uh, glorious summer weekend as we only have a couple left? I know. Thanks for asking, Rye, but I just need you to do one thing for me. Could you just get time to slow down? Time to slow down? What do you mean? Ah, it's like everything goes so fast anymore. I mean, I, I remember sitting in economics class, the clock barely moved, and now it's almost September. It's just driving me crazy. Life is great. I just want it to slow down. I'm with you, Bob. I'm with you, especially summer. Summer always goes a little too fast. Well, I've got some interesting statistics for you this morning, Bob, as usual. Oh, per all right. Use. Let's hear it. Well, a recent survey found that people have just too much cash. The average mm. U.S. adult currently holds $32,286 in cash, and it's estimated that 39% of Americans aren't investing at present, which you know a lot of them, 32% of them, claim that their money in cash is better to have easy access to, while 28% hang on to their cash because they don't know how to invest it. So it's a cash crisis, I guess, with too much cash. I think the one thing they fail to realize is that anything below 2%, you're losing money. So you think, uh, you know, the, we have a passbook mentality where each month the statement stays the same. But unless you're making over 2%, and most cash pays what, right? It's not pretty. I mean, I think the, the average money market in the country is probably less than 1% right now. Yeah, so if you're losing 1% a year, you know, you're just slowly going broke in your lifetime. Yeah, it's true. It's uh, cash does not pay. So uh, <laughs> disturbing statistics, Bob, but that's why we're here to help you on your path to financial freedom to make sure you get your money growing over inflation. And we've got a great show this morning for you. We're going to talk about the retirement guessing game. When it comes hmm. to your retirement planning, you're going to have to make some guesses about some important questions. Bob and I are going to break down some of these for you. We're going to talk about greed. Pigs get fat. Hogs get slaughtered. We're going to discuss how greed can ruin a great retirement plan. Along with this week's financial propaganda, there's a lot of stuff out there in the media, the news that you just need to avoid to make sure your planning's on track. And we have our spotlight segment where we have my brother, Bob's son, Chris Payne on the show. He's going to talk about a real retirement plan that he worked on. He's going to talk about some of the things he did to help a couple get on track with their retirement, some tips, some things that you can do with your own planning and investing to make sure you're on track. So let's get right to it. Let's talk about building a retirement plan and some of the guesses you may have to make. Let's face it, Bob, retirement plan really is not a perfect science, right? Well, there is some science to it, but I think it's more an art than a science or maybe a little bit of both. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment, right? I mean, there's no way to perfectly project things out, but you can make what we would call maybe educated guesses about it. But I think some of the questions that you want to be asking yourself in retirement, you've got to do a little bit more than just guessing. You know, you have to be a bit more like approximately right, let's say. I mean, I think you know, one of the most important questions you need to ask yourself is, how much money am I going to need on a monthly basis? Right. That's the big shocking statistic. Invariably, when you ask someone how much they're going to need to live on a retirement, what's the answer you get? And I'm going to guess, and this is the experience we have with most people that come into our offices, is I don't really know. You know, I think, <laughs> I don't even know what I really spend. I mean, let's take it a step further. You know, at, at the end of the year, I just know that I haven't really broke the bank, right? Again, we see that all the time. The second thing I ask is, you know, how much did you save last year? What's the answer to that normally? Same thing. I don't know, right? Because if you don't know what you're spending, you probably don't know what you're saving. They kind of go hand in hand. I think it's a lot to do with my generation. We work hard. We've always prided ourselves on our work ethic, and it's like, okay, I'm going to enjoy myself, and if I run out of money, I'll just work harder. But you can't do that in retirement. Right, exactly. That's the thing. You know, We talk about it all the time when you're going from that wealth creation stage to what we call the wealth distribution stage. The game changes, right? It's not about, I can just work harder, I can make it up. It's really about, okay, these are the assets I have. 
how am I going to use them to live on them? And what's my budget? You know, what can I really expect to spend in retirement? And how does that correlate with what I'm spending right now? Yeah, and that's where the science comes in, right? You can't guess at this. You have to really sit down and put a pencil to paper. And that's what I love about our portal, you know, our paying capital management financial portal, is that if you, if you just add in your banking accounts, it does all the budgeting for you. It tells you exactly where you're spending your money. Because I don't know about you, but I don't want to sit down over the weekend and get an Excel spreadsheet and write down how much I mm -hmm. spend at Starbucks. Yeah, no. And I think that's one of the things you have to take advantage of with technology. And that's why I love our 360 portal as well, Bob. There's so many great tools now you can use that essentially break down what your spending already looks like. And it's not that hard. You just plug in your different credit cards, your checking accounts, and you get a nice breakdown by category of where the money's actually going. And it's just so much easier than it used to be. And that's why it's like, if you're going to do a budget, now's the easiest time to actually do that. Yeah, because the biggest fear in retirement is I'm going to run out of money. So why not run some simulations, run some projections so you know, because it's not just about your expenses, right? What are some of the other things you got to be concerned with? Yeah, the other thing is when it comes to your planning is you got to know about, think about some of these major expenses that might not just be on your radar screen. Like, you know, for instance, Bob, let's be real. You're going to probably buy a couple new cars when you're retired, right? You, the car that you have now isn't going to last forever. I know. I hear that all the time. This is the last car I'm ever going to buy. Well, guess yeah. what? <laughs> they don't make these things to last forever. They wear out. And you might want to have some fun in retirement. I know I do. What about a boat, right? Do you know any boat owner that's ever bought a smaller boat? <laughs> no, they, they only get bigger and bigger, Bob. And then look at vacations. I mean, people are traveling all over the world. We had, I, I called a client yesterday. They were sitting in the uh, Delta airport getting ready to board a flight to Africa for a three-week safari. So vacations are big. And, you know, you, you can spend a lot of money on vacations. Yeah, a lot of money on vacations. That's the fun stuff. And then there's the unfun stuff, too. Like, we talked about cash earlier in the show already. Let's be realistic here. Things are going to cost more in the future. You have inflation and your money mm -hmm. needs to grow to keep up with that. You know, you definitely have to factor in that your purchasing power is actually going down over time and you're going to need more money later on just to do the same things. Well, that's the problem with inflation. It's hidden. It's insidious. It sneaks right up on you. But, you know, just think about it. Whatever you're spending today, you're going to be spending twice as much in 20 years. It doesn't matter what your age is. 20 years is not that long a period of time and it's gonna cost you twice as much. But there's really one big factor in your expenses that uh, everybody really needs to focus on. And what do you think that is, right? You mean it gets worse, Bob? <laughs> it gets worse. Yeah, so the, the other big expense is healthcare costs, right? And that uh. is probably, for our generation now, it's probably gonna be one of the biggest because we are living longer. So the odds are we're gonna spend a lot more money on healthcare. Well, you know, it drives me crazy, right? And nobody told me this when I was born that the parts that you're born with wear out. <laughs> that's 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 terrible to hear. It is terrible to hear. I mean, I have so many of our, our current clients are having knees replaced, hips replaced. We had a client with a heart transplant, and I'm happy to report we were at a wedding two weekends ago, and she was dancing. I mean, it was just fabulous. But it's incredible what healthcare can do today to keep you alive and keep you living. But boy, the costs are unbelievable. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, there's just so many things you need to account for and you can't guess. So if you're thinking to yourself, I'm tired of guessing, I need to get a real plan, a real budget in place, figure out what my real expenses are going to be. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. Simply bring in those statements, just put them in a folder, bring them in the office. We're going to go through all of it for you. We're going to build your own personalized portal, help you build a budget. And then we're going to look at all the critical components to your portfolio from a thousand feet up. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. What is your income gap going to be? How are you going to replace it? Bob and I are going to show you how to optimize or fill in that income gap in retirement. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs. I know it's shocking in your investment portfolio. Those annuities, those insurance products, brokers products. Bob and I are going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. And we're going to look at diversification. What risks? What pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? If the market corrects tomorrow, are you protected? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more, more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? 
utilizing strategies now we have literally worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye Payne, and we're the Paynes of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments. And I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Strategist and Managing Director here at Payne Capital Management. If you haven't booked your summer getaway overseas, now would be a good time to do it as the dollar rose to its strongest point in a year over concerns of the Turkish financial system. Globally, stocks fell on Friday, along with most currencies, as investors moved into the U.S. dollar. Now, meanwhile, the S&P 500 is closing in on its all-time record high made this past January, and has erased the steep decline it experienced in February. Second quarter earnings season is winding down, with 80% of the S&P 500 companies beating their second quarter estimates. Now, this is the highest beat percentage in any quarter over the past 10 years. This illustrates how not only investors but also Wall Street analysts have been underestimating the strength of the current economy. This time last year, the S&P was trading at 2474, and consensus earnings was $145 a share. Now, the same analysts are estimating that earnings will be $158 a share. Incredibly, even though the market is 15% higher than this time last year, the underlying valuation is at one of our lowest in years. And this is primarily as a result of the increase in profitability. JP Morgan just recently reported that 97% of the earnings growth that occurred in the second quarter was from better sales and better margins. And that's simply a result of a strong economy. So simply put, earnings are good. And when earnings are good, it's hard for stocks to be bad. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my family's goals, to my family's dreams? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Drinking your hand and your toes in the sand. Now, that's a very cool way to work on your retirement planning. And that is just what you can do with Payne Capital Management, as they also have offices in North and South Florida. So stop in and see them when you're on vacation and tell them Ron sent you. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, we like to keep it simple and we like to give you common sense advice you can use for your own planning and investing. And that's why we put together our video series, what you need to know about creating an income 
You cannot outlive. It's just a simple baseline to get you started on the retirement planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. What you need to know about an income you cannot outlive. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, you know, one of the most powerful states that can get in the way of when we're trying to make good investing decisions is good old fashioned greed. Like in the famous movie Wall Street, which we love in our household, the infamous character Gordon Gecko at one point says greed is good. But I have to say, when it comes to your investing, greed a lot of times can be a, a real detriment. Yeah, I think we have a new saying at paying capital management, right? Greed is bad. Right, it's not just <laughs> greed; it's, it's greed and fear. They're the two most powerful human emotions, and guess what? They're both performance killers. Yes, right. Because if the market's going down and you panic out and you sell low, well, then fear can be a real problem. But on the flip side, a lot of times when the market's going up and up and up, we don't like to sell because we think it's just going to go higher and higher. Yeah, I think it's unfortunately as ordinary, normal human beings, we suffer from something called recency bias. Right, we tend to project the future based on our most recent experience. So if you're sitting here right now saying things like, the trend is my friend, you're being greedy. Yeah, exactly right. I, I sat down with a, a client this past week who has a million dollars in one fund that essentially owns all the big hot stocks of today, right? Your Amazons of the world, you've got Apple in there, Facebook, Netflix, the proverbial fang trade. And he said, you know, when this fund hits a million dollars, I'm going to start to diversify. So of course it hit a million dollars and I said, hey, it's time to take some risk off the table. But he said, but wait, what if it goes to a million five hundred thousand? So maybe I should hold wow. on longer. Well, that's that old saying, right? Concentration will help you to create wealth, but diversification will help you to preserve wealth. Yes. And when you're starting to live on your portfolio, it's about wealth preservation, not about how much can I grow my money to the sky. You're right, Rye. So what I see, a typical portfolio today, we've had large growth, basically growth category, you know, growth-oriented companies have outperformed just about everything else most recently. So you're going to be, tend to be overweighted there. It's not a bad thing to have it. It's a bad thing to keep adding to it. Make sure you're diversifying into other asset classes so you have that key diversified portfolio that will preserve your wealth. Yeah, another place that we see greed a lot is you know, I hear this, like the couple next door has a lot more money than I have saved. So I need to hit some home runs here to make up for it and catch up over the next couple of years because I didn't save as much. Right. That's the biggest mistake I've seen people make over my 43 years as a financial advisor is that they tend to take more risk at the wrong time. And it's not just trying to catch up. There's also this rule of scarcity, right? That uh, there's only a certain amount of return available for everyone. And one of the big problems of scarcity is we become jealous of other people making money, whether it's your neighbor or it's the person who took their company public or it's Steve Jobs creating a trillion dollar company with Apple. People tend to have that jealousy that causes them to make emotional decisions in their portfolio, which can be extremely harmful to your financial health. Yeah. And again, you don't even know what that other person's doing with their money. They might be taking astronomical risk and they might end up in the poor house eventually because they're making bad decisions. So it's, it's really important to, and that's why we talk about this on the show all the time, but really building a portfolio that's around what your goals are as opposed to what your neighbor's doing, as opposed to what the market's doing. You have to look at, okay, this is what I'm trying to accomplish and what's the best way to do that and what's the best way to do that with the least amount of risk as opposed to getting the highest return per se because what happens is you end up chasing return. A lot of times you get burnt. Actually, more times yeah. than not, you get burnt. Well, it's not just that. It's, you think about the people that go to the casinos. You know, have you ever met anyone that goes to a casino that doesn't win? <laughs> yeah, they never tell you about how much they lost. No, of course they never do. They never tell you about their big losses, only about their big wins. Same thing happens with single stock speculation. When somebody tells you how much money they've made in the fang trade or you know, how much of a killing they're making in the market, they're not telling you about the hundreds of thousands of tax loss carry forwards they have as a result of the bad decisions they made over the last 40 years. So there's just no free lunch on Wall Street, is there, Ray? 
Yeah, and I guess as financial advisors, we get to see the dark side, right? We know the other side of that. When people say they're making all this money, you know, there's always another truth in there that, that probably not everyone gets to see because they're not seeing behind the closed doors to see all the losses they had in the past and things like that. But the other thing, too, is I think when you're building your portfolio, the, the great irony of investing is, Bob, is when you're less greedy, you actually end up making more money. Yeah, you certainly do, Rye. When you follow a disciplined approach, the key to success is really investing based on your goals. So I don't want you to be greedy. I don't want you to be needy. And I don't want you to be jealous. What I want you to do is be one of our next 10 callers. And if you do that and you've saved at least 200000 for retirement, Ryan and I will personally create for you a financial plan which will eliminate all those emotions, which will get you on track to for your financial freedom. If you're one of the next 10 callers, here's exactly what we're going to do for you. We're going to review your entire financial plan. We're going to have our CPA partner review your tax return just to be certain that you're utilizing all the tax benefits that are currently available. We're going to look at your legal documents. We're going to have, you know, the majority of you do not even have a will right now or don't have an updated will. What we want to do is put you on a path to creating an estate plan that's not an IOU to the Internal Revenue Service. And lastly, and most importantly, we're going to review all of your investment statements. You just had the end of the quarter statements arrive in the mailbox. They're probably sitting on your desk. They're sitting somewhere on the counter. Let's stick them in a shopping bag, You know, pick up the phone, text us, set up an appointment. We're going to review all these statements, and we'll do a simple review that will look at the three key elements of a successful strategy, diversification, cost, and income. We're going to look at each of your investments to make certain that there's no overlap that you don't have the same investment in all these different holdings. We're gonna be certain that you're diversified across asset classes and within asset classes to achieve those goals in your financial life. We're gonna look at cost. Lots of these investments have hidden costs. There's no way to see them. You wanna have it broken down in terms of what you're being charged. And I don't know about you, but I hate being overcharged, especially by my personal portfolio. And we wanna look at income. We're gonna be certain that you have repeatable dependable income in your portfolio to fill that income gap while you're retired or while you're preparing for retirement. And lastly, we're going to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that our family's been perfecting now for over 40 years? That's right, folks. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with your values with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as only a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Nine two. If you have over two hundred thousand dollars safe for retirement, if you're one of the next ten callers, we'll put this review together. Call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages and how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call it the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So, Bob, what did you find out there this week in the world of financial propaganda? 
Well, Rye, mm. I found out why it's so popular. Wow. Well, that's, uh, that's news. Why is it so popular? Well, it turns out that doom and gloom sells. It sells well. And according to a British philosopher, a fellow named John Stuart Mill, to sum it up, he said, quote, I have observed that not the man who hopes when others despair, but the man who despairs when others hope is admired by a large class of persons as a sage. Now, when did he write that, right? That sounds like that was a long time ago. I'm going to say it was, I was a wild guess, the 1800s. 1828 that was written. Hey. And sure enough, <laughs> sure enough, it's working today. So when you have somebody like Jim Rogers get up on CNBC or write an article saying that the next bear market will be the worst in our lifetime, guess what happens? People tune in. Now, why do people like to hear this stuff? I mean, I guess it sounds profound, right, when you talk about uh, having some gifted insight into the future and knowing things that are going to happen that we all don't know, and it plays on our fear, because I guess inherently we're all fearful on some level, and it probably speaks to that more visceral emotion, is my guess, Bob. Yeah, for whatever reason, Rod, people like to hear the world's going to hell in a handbasket, and, and they <laughs> actually get really ticked off when some optimist like us intrudes on that uh, ne negative thought. But you know, there are some things that you can do, right? First of all, you can't ignore negativity, but you can discount it, right? So whenever you hear something very negative, look for more of an alternative positive story to try and, you know, and balance that out. But at the end of the day, it really, it comes down to what we talk about all the time. And that's diversification. That's the only way that you can overcome this negativity. And you know what, if people are going to react to it, we're going to take advantage of it. Yeah, no, exactly right. And I think that's, we talk about this a lot on the show, but it's, it's about having what we call an all weather portfolio because mm -hmm. no one really knows what's going to happen next. If we really did, if we had this gifted insight into the future, like I was saying, you and I'd be on our yacht, Bob. We wouldn't be here <laughs> pontificating about the stock market. We would, we would know already, but nobody really knows already. So what I think is really important, especially as you're getting close to retirement and into retirement is ask yourself the question, is my portfolio ready for any scenario, right? So if the market, let's say the market could skyrocket next couple of weeks, are you prepared for that? If the market does go down, are you prepared for that? Well, it all comes down to investing, and that's really what financial propaganda is about. It's about preventing you from not only investing wisely, but from investing at all. And that's why we're seeing $15 trillion in cash today, because you are more worried about what happened in 2008 and 2000 than you are about what's happened over the last 300 years, which is that financial assets have been going up your entire lifetime. Yeah, and it's against the difference between the short game and the long game, right? I mean, let's also be realistic at this point. I mean, most of you, if you're going to retire, you're probably going to be retired for a long time, you know, 20, 30 years. So you need a plan that's going to account for 20, 30 years, not thinking about what's going to happen over the course of the next six months in the stock market. And it's very hard to do that when the news every day is, is saying this is going to happen, that's going to happen. But whenever you're making your portfolio, what you got to ask yourself is, how does this affect me five years from now, 10 years from now? Because that's really what's happening. When you make a decision on your portfolio, it doesn't just affect tomorrow, it affects the rest of your life. Absolutely, right? So, you know, what did you find out there in the world of financial propaganda? Well, it seems like we've been talking about Morgan Stanley a lot in the last couple of weeks, and they just can't seem to embrace this market. Uh, in their latest research, they came back and said a breakdown in both legs of momentum could trigger a significant market correction. So first off, you're talking about broken legs, and we're talking about the market, and we're talking about momentum. And this stuff's sounding pretty sophisticated already, Bob. Well, I don't know about you, Rye, but I don't have any limbs in my portfolio. What I do have are small company stocks making all-time record highs. I have large company stocks making all-time record highs. I have stocks that have increased their dividends now for 25 years in a row. You know, I don't know what they're talking about. It, and the thing is, you know, there's so many different markets. I mean, how can you just make a blanket <laughs> decision on, you know, the market's going to drop? Which market are they talking about? Well, they answer that too, Bob, so don't worry. Oh. <laughs> they said in their research report here that they're anticipating a rolling bear market that hits different parts of the market at different times. And hmm. to me, that says, well, sure. That's like saying, Bob, I think the markets are going to be volatile in the future. 
like when is it going to happen? What markets and when? They just anticipate at some point. It's it's just crazy. Yeah, that sounds like the the broken clock strategy. You know, <laughs> I'm going to be right twice a day, so I'll just say it, or maybe I'll be right once every decade. But how does that help you achieve your financial goals if you're worried about short term movements that can't be predicted and listening to someone who's going to be right one day sometime when you least expect it? You know, it's even worse than that because, like in this report, they say. Another line here is they said the bull market could be in its last innings. Not that it is, it could be. Well, great. That's really helpful. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I could you know, win the Jupiter lottery could tomorrow, but bars, I might but not. I don't think there's a high probability of that happening tonight. <laughs> now, just to put in perspective, you know, they've been very negative on small capitalization stocks and technology stocks since the beginning of July. And as we know, both technology and small capitalization stocks have been going straight up. <laughs> so, so far, the prediction's been dead wrong. So just add that in there as well. Yeah, I think everything in moderation, including moderation. And, you know, when it comes to financial propaganda, you just want to be moderate in, you know, how you interpret this information. But, you know, Ryan, I'm, I'm just thinking that you had Morgan Stanley, I think, giving really bad advice, you know, group advice. And then you have Wells Fargo out there. They're stubbing their toe once again. It turns out that they uh, ended up having people foreclose on mortgages that they didn't have to foreclose on. These big companies just keep, you know, making negative headlines over and over again. Why are they going to stop? I mean, Wells Fargo, it just seems like if they don't have bad headlines, they don't have headlines at all. I mean, it's every week. So if you're thinking to yourself, I need to get a strategy that's not based on financial propaganda because it clearly is bad for your health. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that's based on your financial goals. So simply bring in those financial statements, print them out, put them in a folder. We'll go through all of it for you. We're going to build you your own personalized portal so we can help you build a budget. We're going to look at all those critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at things like income. Income is so critical in retirement. What does the income look like on your portfolio? Can we help you increase or optimize the income to fill in your retirement income gap? We're going to show you how to do that. We're going to look at diversification. There's so many risks out there in the market. If we have a huge correction in the market, is your portfolio protected? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. And we're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in investment products. Shocking. We're going to look at those mutual funds that you own, those insurance products, annuities. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs in your portfolio are and show you how to reduce costs. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you need to do is text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you call or text 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. Hi, I'm a soon to be retired mom. I'm also a grandmother, and as much as I enjoy visiting with my grandchildren, I'd like to be able to head home at the end of the weekend. I also want to make sure that they get a top-notch education one day. And of course, I want to look out for myself as well. With the proper financial plan in place, I can accomplish all of those goals. What about you? What are you doing to prepare for retirement? Make sure your family is cared for in retirement. And please, don't turn your weekend family visits into a permanent vacation. Schedule a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Take control of your financial future. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 
Planning for retirement shouldn't feel like rocket science, but it's easy to get lost in the financial jargon. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Let's clear up the confusion. Back to Ryan and Bob. It's no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to help you get started with the retirement planning process, make it as easy as possible. That's why we put together our latest video series, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive, just a way to help you get started with the whole process. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's bullish to 555-888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive to help you get started. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about me and Bob, and yes, Bob does have the best hair in the financial services industry, but check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com. That's www.bebullish.com. You can actually subscribe to the show there, learn a little bit more about myself and Bob. And you can catch me most weeks on Fox Business News, CNBC, giving you the latest market commentary. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself for Bob, you can email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I will answer your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, we will answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we have some good questions. And to help us with our questions, we have our producer, Sir Mark Haywood is here. How you doing, Mark? Good morning, guys. I'm just, you know, Ryan, enjoying the first few weeks of being married and getting ready to Watch the end of the last golf major this year and excited to see uh, football coming back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, Mark. You're married now. You're not allowed to watch golf. You're not allowed to watch football. You got stuff to do, buddy. So it's like yard work. I've got to negotiate one game a week, right? I think that's how I'm All allowed right. to do it from here. I got to pick which game I want to watch, so I have to be careful. All right. I like that. <laughs> Oh, boy. It ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. Well, let's do see what the fine folks of New York and Philadelphia have sent in to us this week. We've got Michael and Haverford who writes in, Bob, I have several old 401ks from companies that I used to work for, and I'm getting tired of keeping up with all these statements. Can I just combine them all in one account? Or maybe the question is, should I combine them? Well, I'll tell you what, that's a great question, Michael. And one thing you should all know is that all 401ks are not created equally. Every company sets up their own 401k and they're different as night and day. You might have one 401k with certain investment options where your other 401k doesn't. So the least of your problems is having all those statements coming in and keeping track of it, but you also have other issues. You're probably paying more in investment expense than you need to. You're limited in terms of the investment menu. Your beneficiary options are limited. So, you know, when I have a big company 401k, you know what happens, Ry? You end up bearing the cost of having a big company 401k. So you got to pay for all those different fees of services that you're most likely not going to take advantage of. So yeah. what can Michael do with all these statements, Ry? Yeah, well, I think first off is it can always be a little bit of a challenge just to find all those old 401ks. It can be a, a real goose chase, as we say. So I think the first thing is... Mm -hmm. Track down all the 401ks that you have, see where they are, and then when you look at that, you can see about aggregating them together because a lot of times by aggregating money together, you can get a lower fee, right? There's a lot of sliding scales in the financial services industry with the more money you have with one institution, the better deal you can get. And to your point, Bob, there's a lot of hidden costs and a lot of admin costs that get passed on to you, the employee. Shocking, your employer doesn't actually cover mm -hmm. So by finding out where they all are, consolidating, and you know if you're over 59 and a half, a lot of times what you can do is you can roll that money into just an individual retirement account for yourself, which gives you a lot more flexibility. Well, that's just a great reason, you know, to consolidate that and do an IRA rollover, you know, lower cost and hopefully a better return on your assets. But, you know, I think there's a bigger issue here, right? Because your 401k is in your name only, and if you have a spouse, when you pass away, a lot of times since you don't, you don't track these things, you don't pay attention, how's your spouse supposed to know about it? So, you know, having our 360 financial portal is a huge beneficiary to everyone because one day, unfortunately, we're not going to be here. 
And you're doing a big disservice if you don't put that somewhere where they can find it right away. Yeah, no, exactly right. I mean, that's the one thing you have to remember is your will does not dictate where your retirement assets go. Each plan that the beneficiary has to be designated on that plan specifically. And even with your retirement accounts out there, if it's an IRA or Roth IRA, you know, we try to periodically just go through what the beneficiaries are on all your plans just to make sure that that is up to date because a lot of times life happens. So maybe you got married, maybe you got divorced, and you may not have the right person on your account that's going to inherit that nest egg. And that's why it's so critical to update these things, know where they are, and ideally consolidate to make life simpler. You know, I've never seen it happen with a 401k, right? But are you familiar with a company called Computer Share? I am. You put stock in and they reinvest the dividends for you automatically. I just had something very frightening happen to a client the other day. They had an account with Computer Share and they had the wrong address. They just determined on their own that the account was abandoned and they gifted this client's assets to the state of Pennsylvania. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, uh, now he so, has to have a lawyer to sue them, even though he contacted them by phone and has records that they stole his money, and they don't want to give it back. So therefore, the moral of the story here is, Bob, keep tabs on your assets and find out where they are, because if you don't claim them, somebody else is going to do it. And if you don't feel like doing it, you know, let us do it for you. All right, thanks for writing in, Michael. Now let's take a question from Frida on Port Jefferson, Long Island. Frida says, Ryan, I've heard some people advertising that they can teach you ways to avoid paying taxes in retirement. This sounds like a scam to me, so I haven't even looked into it. What's that all about? (laughs) I mean, there are ways not to pay taxes if you set up certain accounts the correct way, but to just be able to avoid taxes in retirement, period, yeah, that sounds too good to be true. And it's a lot of like the, a lot of these annuities out there that have these guaranteed five, six, seven percent rates, and you're thinking, man, that sounds awesome. Probably too good to be true. In most cases it probably is. You know, right. Sounds like uh, one of my clients that retired thirty years ago, he's ninety some years old. He just said, You know, I'm just not gonna pay taxes anymore. I paid enough. Yeah. Well, good luck with that one. I don't think Uncle <laughs> Sam has a sense of humor. More than like you're gonna have to pay taxes, but I will say this by doing the appropriate tax planning. And that's why, you know, with our advisors and our firm, we always work with your CPA or tax partner. You know, there's a lot of ways to to pay less tax over time if you plan properly. These are all great points. And, you know, I have a question for you. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized did Michael and Frida sound to you? Sound like No offense to uh, Michael and Frida, but they need a lot of work. I think they're like a two to three, Bob. I'd like you to ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized would you like to be? Now, if you're thinking, I'd like to be a 10, of course, why wouldn't you be? All you have to do is be one of our next 10 callers if you've saved at least 200,000 for your retirement. We'll create for you your own 360 financial portal. What this will do is this will update your entire net worth in real time and tell you how you're doing versus your goals, not when somebody calls you, but when you feel like looking at it. It'll keep you up to date on where you stand financially, and it'll put you on that path to financial independence. If you're one of our next few callers, here's exactly what you can expect from us. We're going to create for you a total financial master plan where we will review your tax return. We're going to make sure that your estate plan is not an IOU to the IRS. But lastly, and most importantly, we're going to look at your entire portfolio, regardless of where it's custodied. We want you to bring in all those statements. You know, you can take the time to collate it and put it together. You know, better yet, grab a shopping bag, collect all those statements. We'll go through the analysis. We'll create for you our investment analysis spreadsheet, which will look at the three key elements of a successful strategy. We want to be certain that you are diversified, that you're not paying unnecessary fees, and that you have the income that you need to fill that income gap in retirement. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total customized financial master plan, which will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years? That's right. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your financial point B, your dreams, your goals with your values, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as only a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So we have a couple slots left. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 
888-900-9292. If you're one of the next few callers, you have over 200000 saved for retirement. We'll do the full review at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is your shot. Get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track for retirement at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844 844- 752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Rye. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844 752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Poon, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to educate you, make sure that you're on top of your finances. That's why we put together our latest video series, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Just a great baseline. Get started. Make the financial planning process painless, no pun intended. But you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. You can download our latest series, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Again, text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on the show. My brother, Bob's son, financial advisor, Mr. Chris Payne. Good morning, brother. Hey, right. Thanks for being here. It's an honor. Hey, it's, a, it's a pleasure. Pleasure is all mine, brother. I agree, actually. <laughs> we got the house of pain today, guys. It is the house of pain today. So, Chris, this is our spotlight segment. This is where each week we take a real case, a real retirement plan. We dissect it and we look at some of the mistakes, some of the flaws in the planning and how you basically corrected it. So why don't you tell us about the case you worked on and some of the different adjustments you made to get this couple or this woman in this case on track with her retirement? Yeah, sure. Right. So a couple interesting things about this. One of the things that was really important to this person was that they were looking for someone that was a fiduciary. Right now, she's with someone that is not a fiduciary, and I asked why that was important. And she said she didn't really feel comfortable that the investments that were in her portfolio really met her own best interest. It's very insightful. Yeah, I thought so. It doesn't happen too often. So you know, what we did was we, we took everything that she had today and did our three-page comparison spreadsheet. And a couple of things were blaringly obvious. The first thing was just looking at her projections you know, and some of the things that she wanted to accomplish over the next 30, 40 years, I got the impression she didn't really need to take a lot of risk. And in looking at her portfolio right now, that's just not the case. She's taking a lot of risk for a couple of different reasons. One, she has way too much money in risk assets, so things like equities. Two, the portfolio is very heavily under diversified. So, you know, everything is concentrated in one single area. So, you know, really what that means is we had a big market pullback she would have a big impact to her, her, her portfolio necessarily. So, you know, that was pretty scary to her, you know, when I informed her that, you know, she's taking more risk than she needs. She was taking that kind of risk right up front. She didn't even know that she had the kind of risk in the portfolio that the spreadsheet or the portfolio analysis you put together showed. Exactly. Exactly. Well, yeah, that's a, that's a problem because you get a statement. It just tells you the name of your investments. It doesn't tell you how much risk is in that investment or what the volatility is. And, you know, look, if you're going to have a, an, an equity investment, it's going to be risky. It's going to be volatile. But as you get older, when you're my age, for example, you don't have the time 
on your side, you know, to recover from those inevitable declines. And that's a great point, Chris, that you don't see that on the statement. You need someone to do an analysis to show you the history of the volatility of that portfolio. Exactly. And the other thing, you know, to your point, Dad, is that other things that you see on the statement, she didn't really understand. So one of the things I brought up to her, I said, you know, why is your advisor writing covered calls? Why are they writing options in your portfolio? And she looked at me dead in the eye. She said, Chris, I, I'm sorry. I don't know what an option is. I don't know what you're talking about. Wow. And I went on wow. to explain that in the portfolio, the advisor is actually writing something called a covered call. Uh, they're writing options, which is a really high risk strategy to help generate income. Now, as everybody knows, we're really big fans of generating income. I like to say that you get a better outcome with income. But, you know, there's a like lot that. there's a lot of ways you can do that without taking more risk. And in this case, she's taking a lot more risk by using this high risk strategy. That's you know, one really of the goals common. of being capital management is to make sure that people know what they own and why they own it. Now, she knows what she wants to do, but she didn't know what she owned. And as she finds out, it may not do what she needs it to do. And that, that's really great that your analysis is this sticks out, Chris. It just jumps out at you that uh, she doesn't have the right portfolio for her stage in life. Exactly. And I pointed out to her, I said, you know, you're generating a lot of income in your portfolio. And I said, it's going to cover your needs until you have to start taking Social Security. I said, but you're taking a lot of risk to get it. So what I showed her was a strategy that was a lot lower cost, a lot less risk, and she can generate enough income for the rest of her life without really having to touch the overall principle. Yeah. And that's the name of the game, right? It's it's like, Let's make this so that you have high, high odds of success, so that there is you know very little doubt that you're going to achieve your goals. And you know, I just love the fact that this advisor clearly was talking way over her head, keeping her in the dark essentially, so that she didn't really understand what was going on. You know, a lot of people in our industry just have to make things so complex and have to kind of essentially talk down to you like you don't know anything or don't want to know anything. It's crazy. What's the matter with you guys? I've been telling you this for 40 years. They do it so they can charge the client more. Chris, how much more was this client being overcharged because of this, you know, supposed complexity? Over a half a percent more. Wow. <laughs> that's real money. That's like four or five grand a year. Yeah, it's huge. And that's money that could go towards living her lifestyle and reaching her goals. So, yeah. Chris, when you take the expenses that are now not, you know, they're not going to that stockbroker and they're now going to client's pocket, and then you go with the added yield that you're adding by going to more conservative investments, how much more a year will this portfolio generate? It's going to generate about $5,000 more a year, but you got to remember we're taking a lot less risk to get there. So you're going to have a higher probability of getting that income, and with the lower expenses and the higher yield, aren't you increasing it by almost 3% a year? Absolutely. So 3% over 20 years, you're basically going to add another half a million dollars in net worth. Yeah, and that's real money. I, I, I got to tell you, I wouldn't say no to half another half million dollars. <laughs> that's very benevolent of you, Chris. <laughs> well, you know, Chris, if you're sitting there right now and you can throw a half a million dollars out the window, I want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're thinking to yourself, I need a review like this. I need to understand what's going on. I'm tired of being in the dark. I need to know what kind of risk I'm taking. I want to know if I'm financially secure. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next few callers, we still have a couple slots left. You have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Myself, Bob, and Chris Payne will run for you our famous Total Financial Master Plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review just like this where we analyze everything. Just bring those statements in. Bring them in a folder. We're going to go through all of it for you. We're going to build you your own personalized portal, and we're going to do a full holistic analysis. So we're going to look at all these critical things. We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? Is your advisor talking over your head and charging you a lot of commissions? We're going to show you exactly how to reduce that cost so there's more money in your pocket for retirement. We're going to look at income. Income so critical in retirement. Creating a secure income stream that's reliable throughout your lifetime is a core component to a proper investment strategy. We're going to show you to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. What hidden risks do you have in your portfolio? If the market goes down tomorrow, are you protected? We're going to show you how to bulletproof and protect your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Using strategies, our family, we've been perfecting now for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success.
Don't miss out. we got a few slots left. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. There's no plan unless you call 844 752 6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, another great show, gentlemen. It's great to have an all-pain, no-pain, no-gain radio show. Chris, you're getting better and better, man. You know, I take you after my father. <laughs> I'm on the decline, on the other hand, so uh, I just appreciate <laughs> at least one pain is, uh, is, is evolving. <laughs> you know what, Chris? That was a uh, total financial masterpiece and uh, did a great job for that woman and thank goodness she met you. Well, thank you, Dad. I appreciate that. (laughs) Well, great show, gentlemen. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.